movement, man. Yeah. yeah. That, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Behind it now. Glorious Steinem, yeah. yeah, it's a spirit behind it. And yeah, now you got all these down low brothers because they going home fighting. And then you gonna get the sissy, and then he's submissive. I'm telling you what I see. It's a, hey, it's a, it's I'm a, it's a trick hey. from the devil, <laughs> and it's a demon. I ain't talking about nothing, sissy. I know y'all all woman. You know, y'all y'all straight. I'm talking about overall in the world. This is how the enemy is tricking folk. You know, got brothers going after that strange flesh. That's what the book say. And we're going we're gonna to read that. So let's skip down to Daniel 4 and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth to whomsoever he will and setteth up, setteth up over it the basis of men. Now these these angels that's called watchers, we're gonna read something later on, if it be Yah's will, from the book of Enoch. Enoch called them watchers. And and I just wanted to show you that it's in the book and it is scripture that these division of angels are guardian angels. You can read them over, I believe it's in uh Hebrews the first chapter. They don't call them watchers, but it talks about how there's one that is for every man. Every man has at least two angels. You know, one to write down and one to guard. You know, everything we say, that's why our scripture say every idle word, you're going to be judged for it. Because we got two angels. And one is writing down everything. Yeah, I heard him when he cussed. It was at 1205 last Sunday. He, he writing it down. So when you stand in judgment, you're going to be judged for every idle word. Hey, you're real. There's also those angels, man, that, that, that uh, according to the super figure for cries to Mikael, by having to watch or to guard these evil men. You remember that scripture? They go back and forth and, they, and, they, and there's the angels. That's why the scripture says that, that the Father is going to wipe out every tear in the heaven. You say, well, who is crying in the heaven? Well, the angels are crying because they were subscribed to these evil men. Mm -hmm. and, and a division of them rebelled. It says Dang. 200 of them. And see, the watcher division is not only limited to the ones that rebelled. And we're going to read that in Peter. Because Peter talked about how they rebelled. Right. See, see, Satan them didn't rebel on earth. No. Satan rebelled in heaven on the second day of separate. creation. It's right. two separate occasions. See, when Satan rebelled, he rebelled in heaven. Uh, the Father presented more likely a blueprint mm -hmm. of men to Satan on the second day of creation. Because yeah. man didn't come to the sixth day. But Satan said, I ain't down with that. I, I, he said, uh-huh, I ain't having it. I ain't serving, man. Father kicked him out. And his angels with him. But these angels that rebelled, what Peter them talked about was already on the earth with an assignment. But that division is not only limited to that time. Now let's skip down to uh, verse, uh, we're still in uh, 23. Verse 23. Daniel, yeah. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven, and saying, Hew the tree down and destroy it, yet leave the stump of the roots thereof in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass, and in the tender grass of the field, and let it be wet with the dew of heaven, and let his portion be with the beasts of the field, till seven times pass over him. That, that's real deep, that scripture. Yes. I don't have time to go into that. But just to give you all the clue of the image that Daniel saw, this is it. This is it. he talked about bees, he just mentioned iron, and he mentioned brass. Brass is the Greeks, and iron is the Romans. And we are in the era of the iron. And the watchers have something to do with it. Very influential even to this day. Satan, demons, is the children of these people that he made with the women. Because everybody that fell with Satan was chained down. That's why he asked Satan, where you been? He said, up and down, to and fro through the earth. <coughs> so everybody that fell down with Satan chained down. Except for fruit that the Father, you know, let, let up with him. But for the most part, Satan roamed the earth by itself. But the demons came from as a result of these children that the Father destroyed. 
and we'll get into that for y'all as well, maybe in two weeks. Cause I'm just gonna give you all a nugget, and it's gonna really, you know, prick your spirit, and you're gonna be really, really interested. And we're just gonna go further. But right now, I'm just gonna stay in the Torah. Anybody ever seen the movie Prophecy? Oh yeah. Prophecy one and two, yeah. where it talks about the, the rebellion that Satan had, but then it talks about another rebellion. Yeah. Yep. But it but it put Gabriel at the head of that rebellion, right. though he's not. Right. And it but it showed like you two different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it showed you that there were two, two separate different rebellions. rebellions. Mm -hmm. And there were. <clears throat> but the second rebellion, the, the father gave Satan power over them. Mm -hmm. So now they work for Satan. So they unified. Mm. All right. So let's go <coughs> to Numbers the thirteenth chapter. And the scripture told us in, um, didn't it tell us in, in, in Genesis the sixth chapter in the second verse that there were giants in the earth. In the earth. Before. It says before the flood and, and after, after the flood. Before. See, we always deal with, you know, the ones that's before and we deal with the ones that's after. We never put them together. Today we're going to put them together. So, where we at? Numbers. 13, 33. Yeah. Numbers 13 and 33. Numbers 13, 13 and verse 33. I'm sorry, but Midbar numbers. And there were, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which came of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. So so this is during the time that Moses sent the 12 spies out to spy out the land. Mm -hmm. And two came back with a good report. How many y'all know came the 10 came back with a bad report of doubt and fear? Yep. So the two that came back with a good report was Caleb and Yehoshua, and Yehoshua right? Came. So those they two came know. back. So when they looked into the promised land, everything was big. Mm -hmm. Everything was big, even the people. And it says we are like grasshoppers. So if if what it talked about in Genesis, if if that was men of intelligence, you know, like I heard one teacher, you know, it was great men. They they were giant in understanding. And I've heard Israelite teach that they still use the JC name too, way off on this subject, trying to say that these were the sons of Seth, or the sons of Cain. Cain sleeping with the daughters of, of, of Seth. Who said that Seth and Cain were separated? Mm -hmm. Question is, how did they make it to this side of the flood? Huh? Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. If you wasn't from Noah's lineage. That's it. Because remember, Noah and his three sons were the ones who repopulated the earth. That's right. All right. So it said they were giants. But if you're still, you know, not convinced, let's go to Deuteronomy the first chapter. So his name was Anak. Deuteronomy 1 and 28. As it was in the days of Noah. It's going to be some giants in this day. Let's pick it up at verse 28. Deuteronomy verse 1 and 28. Whether shall we go up? <clears throat> our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying the people is greater and taller than we. Oh, taller. They are greater and taller. Uh huh. The people saying the people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we have seen the sons of Anakim there. Now, we're going to read a famous story about one of the sons of Anak or Anakim. So let's go to 1 Samuel, the 17th chapter. I'm showing you that there.